Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive. Those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, into your hands we place this evening all the questions, all the discussions, all the learnings that we do. We, we thank you for the opportunity that you've given to us, that you may anoint us with your Holy Spirit. Open our hearts and you will teach us something new. Thank you for this grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. So where were we? Yesterday we were discussing about thermostat and uh, thermometer. Okay. Joshua and Caleb. Uh. So, so I want to speak something very, very deep. Can I? Yeah, very well. Sure. Very deep, okay? Mm. Very deep, okay. Okay. Give me Hebrews 11 1. Marita, are you there? I don't even check whether Marita is there or not. She is there in the class, but I, 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 I just finished the woman's class and I was dozing. Then I told them I can't preach anymore. So I was preaching for one and a half hour and then I dozed off and I said, let me take a little sleep before I start this class. Hmm. So I've just come with failing in my mission, but the thermostat is still on. Hmm. So there will be, there will be times hmm. when you are believing as a thermostat, okay? Hmm. But there might be failures, but that doesn't mean you change your thermostat to thermometer. Hmm. Okay. So brother, read Hebrews learn one, please. Now faith is a substance. Are you go slow, Baba, please. Yeah, yeah. Now, mm. faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The first thing is when you read the word now, it is in the present tense, right? Yes. So, faith is always in the present tense, hope is always in the future tense. Mm. So, Jesus has always said, your faith has healed you. Mm. So, which one is more, more needed, faith or hope? Both are needed, no? Huh? Well, what Jesus did Jesus say? Hope, hope. Did Jesus say faith is needed uh, or hope is needed? Faith has healed you means hope is required. No? Huh? What, what are you it? talking what are you question? What is what was your question? I said, Jesus always said your faith has healed you, right? Correct. So faith is more important than hope, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you said now. No, no. I'm asking you. You don't don't put on me. You you have become like Jesus. Jesus said that's what you said. He said to Pilate, "Are you the king?" He said, "Yes." That's what you said. I I did not say. <laughs> Okay, now you are asking me, is it faith more important, hope more important? Okay, I'll explain to you, I'll explain to you. Hmm. Hope is always in the future tense, okay? Yeah. So hope is your desire, hmm. okay? Hmm. And this desire is invisible, agreed? Hmm. It is an expectation of the future that you want to manifest in your life, correct? Yeah. So now faith is the substance. Now faith is not a feeling, okay? Faith is a substance. Substance means it is an invisible thing. Yeah. Okay. Now this invisible substance mm. called faith supplies. So faith supplies substance mm. to hope. Mm. Now let us be, go to hope and then we'll come back to faith. Now hope is my expectation, yeah. my desire, my dream, my goal, mm. which I want to manifest in my life. Mm. And it is invisible and it is the final product. Mm. So that's what I'm expecting, right? Mm. So it's a final product and it is invisible. Mm. So hope 
by itself cannot work. Yeah. So hope requires faith to supply the substance. Yes. So what does faith do? Faith supplies a substance called faith mm. to that hope. Mm. And that hope, which was hope, has now turned it into a manifestation. Mm. Okay. And remember this, mm. that the whole process of faith is on evidence not seen. Mm. So now there is an evidence that you don't see. Mm. Based on that evidence, you are making your hope, which is also not seen. Mm. And now you are using your tongue mm. to speak those promises of God, particularly for this uh, person who is tall. Mm. Praise God. Thank so you. what is faith going to do? Faith is going to supply the substance. Mm. So let me give you an example. What is an that? example? Hmm? What is that substance? That substance is an invisible substance, but it is a substance. Yeah. So okay. and this substance and this substance is found in the Bible. That's why the Bible says faith comes, or the substance called faith comes to you by hearing when you hear and hear the word that is preached. Mm. So this invisible substance is not based on feeling and therefore you can't feel it. Mm. It's based on faith is a substance which is spiritual according to the word of God. Okay, now, so a person has got a decision, a desire that he wants to be healthy. Mm. But he is sick. Mm. So the first thing he should do is he should have a desire to get healed. Mm. Mm. Because if he doesn't have a desire, then it doesn't work. Yeah. So having that desire, now he has to search in the Bible what are those scriptures that will help that desire to be fulfilled. Mm. So he picks up a few of the healing uh, scriptures mm. and now begins to speak them, meditate on them and speak them. Mm. And every day practice them. Mm. Now when a person does that, it is impossible for God not to manifest his glory because now you will see so many things happening in your life. Oh. So, faith is the substance, invisible substance, that goes into the mold called hope and converts that mold into a powerful, powerful um, instrument, a oh. uh, powerful uh, glory. Praise God. Lord, so, Bible faith comes from the Bible mm. and it is the evidence of things that are not yet manifest in the spiritual realm or in the natural realm okay. because you are speaking spiritual words mm. but not yet manifested in the natural realm. Yeah. Okay. So, as you continue to speak those words, the thermostat will give you understanding of how the system works mm. and now the person's eyes are open the person is hungry for the lord the person has seen with his own eyes that every test report has changed and that person is walking into victory mm. so when some people call faith mm. i got faith mm. i got faith is not at all bible faith because their way of understanding is different. Let me give you an example. There is um, there is a person who is who is calling faith means uh, whatever he is believing is calling faith, mm. and his expectations are very high. Mm. But that person does not have the right scriptures with him in the heart. But the expectation is high and the person believe also is that I got tremendous faith. 
Can this be, can this be possible? Yes. So a person who is building up faith on anything, he will tie four or five scriptures to the to the to the hope mm. okay, which he is expecting. Mm. So when he ties those promises, every time the enemy starts speaking, those promises which he has tied are now speaking on his behalf. Like you see over here, how Brother Jude and Jocelyn and Jesse are taking care of the whole ministry in singing and preaching. Yeah. So when a person has got high expectation but no right information, the person ends up in a disaster. I repeat again, when a person calls on to the Lord, yeah. okay, but that person is not ready to believe. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. So when the ex expectation is high, yeah. the information that he already has got low, yeah. it shall not come to pass. Expectation is high, information low. No, yeah. info information is not according to the word of God. Yeah. See, brother, I want to be healed, mm. but I don't have scriptures of healing mm. at all. Mm. So what will I keep on praying? God, heal me. What I'll do with people around? Please keep me in prayer. The person is not willing to learn on it, to learn as the preaching is going on. So that once the person learns, the next day, the person can say, let me give a try how this works. And he begins to give a try and it works. Mm. So now what has happened? That person has got the whole washed world ahead of him because it is no, totally on spiritual things. Mm. Praise God. So high expectation based on wrong information is extremely dangerous. Mm. I repeat again, high expectation um, Based. But no, but but wrong information hmm. is dangerous because having no information, the person won't know how to fight. So, but brother, in, in such cases, so now when we talk to a non-Christian, Christians or Catholics have got a, you know opportunity to you know read the word, but in hmm. a lot of non-Christians, how do we? How do we approach in a, in a critical stage? So first now? thing, first thing for a non-Christian, it's not the healing that is the first thing. The person must understand what Jesus did on the cross. Why was he crucified? Mm -hmm. And through that crucifixion, how come a Hindu can also get the advantage of what Jesus did on the cross? So once that person becomes thorough with why does he need a savior? Okay. Mm -hmm. His expectation now begins to increase. Mm. So now with this in, um, desire which has increased, I pick up some four or five scriptures and I tie them up to her. So mm. now she is, uh, you know, taking that information which is passed on to her and she is listening attentively and she's she's actually applying now what do you mean by applying applying means the person is opening his mouth yeah. and going on speaking his faith yeah. so when he's speaking his faith the substance called faith starts regenerating inside of you yeah. and that same substance you are able to use in every healing ministry yeah. distributing to the people uh, the word of God. So when you tie four or five scriptures to your hope, yeah. okay, that scriptures, yeah. that scriptures will give you the power yeah. uh, called substance to bring things into manifestation. Yeah. Just, just one minute, huh? yeah. just one minute.
Praise God. Praise God. So, so what happens is if a person has got a hope, hmm. but he is not tied with scriptures, hmm. the supply or substance will never be there. But the person will think that he has got faith. Hmm. But actually speaking, faith substance is generated in two places. What we learned in Romans 10 verse 8. The word is near you. It is in your mouth. It is in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Hmm. Yeah, read that brother. What does it say? The word is near you on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. So where is the word of faith? It's in your heart and in your lips. Why not in your mind? Because in Mark 11, 23, God is say, Jesus saying, say it but don't doubt in your heart. Mm. So there has to be something connected to the heart. What is so connected to the heart? The connection to the heart of a born again Christian is that his heart is not like uh, what people had before Jesus' crucifixion. Mm. A heart is completely changed. It has become into a spiritual being. Mm. It is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the scriptures that you are learning and you are believing is in your heart. Hmm. And when the pressure comes and you have been going to the wrong places to get the information, hmm. the wrong information will play on your mind, surely. Hmm. Now, instead of uh, coming to the channel to preach, hmm. the person is not able to come because of many other factors. Hmm. So, in other words, a person who is believing in faith Sorry, brother. This has been the whole day. Mm. So, uh, what I'm saying? What did I say? Now the person uh, who is uh, supposed to preach, you are talking about. Uh... Yeah. Yes. So, so he has got a desire. Mm. Okay. But he has not filled himself with the relevant scriptures. Mm. So he is operating on self-effort, but not faith. Mm. So a person who is on Bible faith, mm. he keeps speaking words from the heart. Mm. Okay. That is the word of faith. Okay. That means he's speaking the promises of God. Now when he is speaking the promises of God, the words that are coming out of his mouth are all spiritual evidence but things not seen in the physical. Mm. And as he come, keeps on speaking, he has kept the compressor on like a thermostat mm. demanding from that scripture that is speaking to go into the spiritual realm and come back with answers in the physical realm. Mm. So substance is invisible mm. but when that substance is supplied mm. that substance which is invisible now will become visible through the power of God. So for example, a person studies Mark 11, 23. All you have to do is, the, the person comes to a conclusion, all you have to do is say, uh, say to it uh, to receive the promise. Say to it to receive the promise. Means uh, say to the mountain and the next moment receive the promise. Now, saying is a part yeah. of applying the principles of faith. Because Jesus said, if you have faith, then you shall say. Yeah. So saying is an important part yeah. in a principles of faith. But there is much more than saying it. What is that? Filling it with uh, the, the substance. No, no, no. A person is understanding in Mark 11, 23, he says, all you have to do is say it to receive the promise. Yeah. But Jesus said, say to the mountain. Mm. So all I have to do is say it and then wait that the promise will be delivered because they also came to know the next day. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. Now, what a person did not understand is he has picked up the principle of saying, mm. but what he has not picked up is he has to also have the believing mm. in his heart. Yeah. So it is it is more than just saying it over and over again. Mm. You must believe and not doubt in your heart along with what you're saying. Mm. Now, when a person is practicing these two things, mm. a person's life will be awesome. Yes. So, in this context, there is one verse which I came across. Okay. <clears throat> Just, uh, correct me if uh, this is making sense. In 2 Peter 1 5. Yes, read it. For this reason, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness yes. and goodness with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance and endurance with godliness godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love is that yes. so which means the faith so, without all these things you will not you 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 will not reach you will not reach the final destination you will be knocked off before that this is a, so this is looks like a huge so, task huh? no re baba Wow. It is all about, see, he has given you all that, no? All this are different facets of one word called love. Hmm. That's okay. why the Bible says faith works through love. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, that believing part hmm. is very, very important when a person is saying. Hmm. Okay. Vijay had asked, uh, uh, as racist and Vijay wanted to ask some question. Yeah, thanks, Sos. Brother, I had a question. Yeah. You, you had, you were talking about um, for faith. We need high expectations, but we also need the right knowledge. So, if uh, high if expectation with the wrong information will not work, because see, hope by itself cannot turn from invisible to visible. The substance that changes hope from invisible to visible is faith. Hmm. So when I have made any hope, let's say I made a hope that I want to, to have built my own house. Okay. Now yeah. for that hope to come to pass, I have to have scriptures tied up to me. Means what? Few, six, seven scriptures tied up to me means I recall them every day and I speak it repeatedly every day in my life. Now, in when a person, context, huh? brother, in that context, is there any such thing like we we pick the wrong the wrong scriptures, and therefore our our application of our faith is wrong? Is does that happen? Do we need to be? See, uh, see, it is like you that? going to a garage, hmm. and your tire was flat, and the mechanic is uh, working on your steering. You will straight yeah. away say this mechanic has gone crazy. Yeah. How do we how do we guard against that? Brother? Anything we can do to no. That's why you, that? when you when you start studying the word more and more, no, you become more and more sensitive to the Holy Spirit that He will begin to tell you what to do, what scripture to pick up. Hmm. If, if now you got on your computer so many software datas, right? Yeah. When you put a search, does he bring bring out all the files or that particular file? Particular file. In the same way, when you're studying the word of God, he'll pick up that particular file and he say, Come on, let's do it together. Yeah. Brother, I came across a word today, and um, this is in uh, uh, the book of Baruch, uh, chapter 4. Verse 18, it, it goes like this. For he who brought these calamities upon you will deliver you from the hand of your enemies. And uh, this is there it looks like there it looks like God is the one who is the author yeah. of bringing. No, but yeah. the Bible, and, but what yeah. it says in the New Testament is God is a God of goodness and only good things come. Now, Correct. I'll give you an example. When God says, I will not bring the sickness on you, what does he actually mean 
I will not permit this sickness to come upon you. Yeah. In other words, the sickness is coming because of your disobedience. But at that time, I have my protection over you, so I put all the blocks so that the affliction cannot touch you. But now the Lord is saying that because you are um, not changing, okay, now I am there before you, but only when you change, I will respond to you quickly. Yeah. So a father or a mother begins to lift up the cane, not that they love the punishing the child, but they will not touch the child. But if a person is taking the, the father is taking the cane, will it affect the child? Yeah, the child no, will to, be to, to discipline the father yeah. is taking a cane. Will it will it discipline the child? It will. The child will be upset also. Yeah, forget about the upset. Yeah. But is the child going to go to the wrong side? With the kind with the cane, the child will be prevented from going to the wrong side. Correct. In the same way, in the same way, the father, the, the heavenly father is saying, it's not I who brings the sickness and disease, because yeah. it's from the kingdom of darkness. But I will not move into action because you have not repented. Yeah. So I'll wait for you so that more trials will come. The more you'll go deeper and one day you will realize that I can't come out of it. That you'll call up and say, can I get some scriptures? How do I come out? Yeah. Are you understanding? Yeah. So, in cases. That, so for that coming out, the preacher will now begin to teach him different incidents in the Bible and say, how are you going to apply it in your own life? Because one thing, remember, faith is not just a quick fix for your problems. But faith works marvelous in your life. If you understand. So now when that person is going on repeating and repeating and repeating out of his mouth, what I'm trying to say is when you're repeating, your heart is also getting energized. And, um, you know, uh, because of that faith, scriptures, which are tied up to the hope, that hope, is getting continuous supply and the more and more supply you give to the hope your faith substance the quicker you will experience the manifestation of God's glory so these scriptures Jesus said my my word is spirit my word is life now these scriptures when you tie them and you are pressing on to them even though you are speaking the words evidence not seen but you are supplying the substance in the spiritual realm by what you are speaking and that your speaking is being changed from the invisible to the visible and that's how you bring things from the unseen to the seen. That is a gift from God given to all of us. So brother, it's, it, it, was, it seems to me that when we choose these scriptures, we have to be careful. We almost have to have advice saying that these are the right scriptures. Like if you do a Google search and look for 10 scriptures applying to this situation and we start using them, it's almost like, I think we can get into confusion. What, what, is, what, is, very important, what is very important is that you pick up the scriptures from the new covenant so that you don't get caught up with the law. Mm, okay. 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 So when you get into the New Testament and you pick up those scriptures, what you can do is you can mark and make an index. For these things, these are the scriptures. For this thing, these are the scriptures. And that's why that small white book gets yeah, yeah. into into a place because that in that whatever prayers are there, it is never one single line which is in thermometer. It is mm -hmm. all Bible-based words and therefore they are all, um, you know, tools for you to set up your thermostat and they are thermostat setting uh, scriptures that you have got. 
Now, when you begin to practice it, you'll see in no time you are changed completely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, brother. Thank you. So it, it is not only about speaking, it is about believing as well. And believing in what? Believing in your heart. So if this person was not in the word of God, understanding the truths, and now this person has sent me uh, the clip, a uh, 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 photograph, and that person is extremely a fighter. And he has sent me and I said, excellent. Now when the person is practicing, he will surely see the manifestation. So manifestation is not on how much time you spoke. Mm. Manifestation is because the Bible says the word of faith is in two places. In your mouth and in your heart. That is the principle of the heavenly kingdom working. So stick to that what God has taught you. Manifestation is what you said once again. Can you repeat that? Manifestation is? See, for manifestation, this grace plus faith is manifestation. Yes. Grace is what Jesus has done. Faith is what you are responding to grace. So grace has got the power. So you tie it with that grace scriptures to your hope or to your expectations. And when you're speaking it every day, you are supplying the substance called faith, which is surely turning that invisible uh, expectation of yours into a visible reality. Mm. So when you are starting to speak, you are starting to speak things not seen. But as time goes by and you are speaking it, now you can already sense and see with your eyes of faith, by your imagination, this is what God said and this is what he promised me and this is what I did. So according to Jesus, because I did this, According to your word, I am your worksmanship, learning your ways, and you did it. Now you see the complete change in what you were doing before. Mm. So, in other words, faith is speaking the invisible mm. and making a demand to come back into visible is using the principles of faith. Okay. The words of faith are spiritual, mm. but the Holy Spirit, when you are speaking with confidence, will convert those very words into, into natural things. Mm. So if you are a person who got some miracle mm. and you are speaking only once in a day, mm. how, much of, how much of substance are you going to generate? But when you are at home with your family, and the whole family is confessing the scriptures together. Now you'll see there is so much of love in the family. There is so much of uh, impossible things are becoming possible. Mm. There is so much of joy and victory in the air. Mm. Because now you are operating on faith substance. Yeah. So when you are speaking on faith substance, remember, it is not a... Uh, that it will happen instantly. It is a practice that you do by relying on the invisible and not relying on the visible. Oh. So anything that is visible to you which contradicts the word of God, okay, and you've got a heart to do it, now go ahead, because God has given you that assignment to win that person in the kingdom of God. Amen. So when when Jesus says in Mark 11, 23, whosoever shall say mm. and not doubt it in his heart, but shall have high expectation based, praise God. Praise God. So this person is is um, having uh, you know, he is the one who is the whosoever. He is the one who has spoken to the mountain. 
He is the one who is not doubting in his heart. He is the one who is believing that it shall come to pass. And he is the one who is thanking God mm -hmm. because he said, you shall have whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Now, all these things in one scripture, Jesus wants us to believe in a heart. Because remember, faith always works from the heart and not from the mind. Mm -hmm. Because in the mind are your physical evidence. Yeah. But in your faith are spiritual evidence which now are ready to become physical evidence. Mm. So whenever Jesus referred to the scripture to say with his mouth, but in the case of Jesus, he spoke it out of his mouth, but he already believed in his heart. Mm. So, so when he said he so he he shall have whatsoever he says, okay, yeah. he did not have it when he said it. Yeah. I repeat again, you shall have whatever you say, correct? Yeah. When you are saying it, you are not having it yes. because it's invisible. Yeah. And the person who is still continuing to speak without having it is the person who is who is having who is having the faith that what i'm speaking on my thermostat will surely bring it to pass in the future that i will have it mm. unless he has that knowledge that what you are speaking out of your mouth the scriptures which has got invisible evidence as you continue to speak and believe those very Spare, um, same word same the spiritual words with the power of the holy spirit now will change from the invisible to the visible so is this the is this the action corresponding to the message is that what it means? yes 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 but 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 using the scriptures using the scriptures so yeah can, can you give, give me uh, give us an example of a uh, very specific uh, can you give us a specific example and how what word okay 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 a person has got cancer yes okay all this time the person is saying that he has got cancer yeah so he is ex he is like the 10 spies hmm. already declared hmm. what is the situation yes so the person is a christian but yeah. he is a thermometer Christian because he is not speaking faith, he is only speaking facts. Yeah. So faith is that the person is speaking mm. the invisible thing, mm. okay, and he continues to speak it till the day he yeah. sees it manifest. Mm. So when he is speaking, by the wounds of Jesus I am healed, he is not just speaking out of his mouth, mm. he is believing. Hmm. And he's saying, because I'm already healthy, so let me go and help my dad hmm. in his work. Hmm. So yes. every time somebody is asking him, how are you? He's saying, I'm perfectly fine. Praise God. The Lord Jesus has healed me of cancer. I'm set free. And I'm a minister now, teaching others how to be a, a cancer killer. Now, when he begins to share like these uh, faith build words, hmm out of his mouth it affects tremendously to those who are in the class those who are in the now when he's speaking it continuously mm -hmm. it affects the person so much mm -hmm. that those words which are invisible will be made visible and when that person is coming and sharing the testimony it will affect the people in the class because he's not only coming and saying I got healed of cancer. He's showing him the process by which he used the process to kill the cancer. Hmm. So, even though he's speaking continuously, he is not speaking the thermometer setting, he's still speaking the thermostat setting. Hmm. Now, will that happen in one day? No. Whether it happens in one day or one year or two years, the person who is on faith is saying, I'm committed myself to it. I'm expecting it. And I'm following this system, which you, which is recorded in the Bible. 
And just as God said, let there be light, there was light. In the same way, these promises, what I'm saying, are, are going to bring them into pass. Because in the, even in the white book, the promises are always in the past tense. They are not in the future tense. Yeah. So, yeah. the problem is, the problem comes that the person has got high expectation. But the issue is, his faith is based on what he heard somebody's testimony. Mm. How that person operated in faith. Now, that person is opening his mouth and speaking. A is speaking, hearing the testimony of B. Mm. Okay? Mm. And he's all pumped up with faith. Mm. So now he's doing exactly what B is doing. Mm. And he's speaking the word. Praise God. Praise God. Which comes from the promises of the heart. Yeah. Uh, promises of God. Praise God. Praise God. Now, these words, they are thermometers. Because that person has got somebody else's testimony. That person doesn't have the scriptures to back him up. So he is relying on somebody else's experience. And he's saying, I'm also going to do that without the scriptures. Hmm. So without the scriptures, when he's trying to work out, he, is, he will surely end up becoming a thermometer. Hmm. So when a person is a thermometer, and expecting to get result like a thermostat, mm. it's a big, big blunder. Mm. Because for a person who is in the thermometer, there is no connection between the words of their mouth mm. and, and their heart. Mm. Because it is only the words in the mouth and in the heart, when they are in agreement, the result is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the battle. Now, now if you see Matthew 12, 35, give me from the King version. Huh? Yeah. Read brother. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bring forth good things. Pause, pause, pause. Now, how is he going to bring the good things, the good treasure in his heart? By now, what's that good treasure? Now, what's that good treasure? That good treasure are the promises which has been handed over to you by God. Okay. Now, with these promises, you are going to get a breakthrough to a wall that has been blocking you like a wall which that has been blocking you for a long time. Mm. But now you got the tools. Mm. So you are, you are taking these tools, learning it, how the application is. Now you are taking the tools, opening your mouth and going on speaking it. Mm. Okay. Now when you are speaking, you are speaking an invisible evidence. Yeah. But because you are speaking in the name of Jesus, mm. that invisible evidence has moved out of your mouth hmm. because you spoke it by faith and now you are all the time thanking God by faith. So the words that have gone out in the invisible will now go and bring evidence in the visible. Hmm. So who does that? Faith does that. Faith does when faith. will it happen? When, when the supply of substance is to the full that the mold which you are believing for is completely filled with the faith substance. Mm. Now, when you are at rest and you open the mold, you will see that it has been done. Mm. Okay, so let me give you an example. Okay, just tell me if, if uh, my approach is correct. Okay, mm. because I am looking for a job. Okay, correct, correct. So I'm looking for a job, Lord. I, so I will say, Lord, your word says in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. I thank mm. you for believing in this word. I thank you, Lord, for you already blessed me with a job uh, which will uh, allow me to have uh, you know, wonderful 
uh, experience, wonderful, you know, whatever I wanted to add. Then I also say that, uh, you know, I also thank you because your word says in Philippi 419, my Lord shall supply all my needs. Uh, and, and I don't like that. Is that how you should go? See, now you are depending on saying. Ah. But the real stuff is in the believing part. Correct. So how do you, how, what is that the thin line? How do you translate it? From see, see, when you are believing, you are already made imaginations. You are already at rest. See, one thing is there, brother, when you are believing, hmm. the result is rest. When you are not believing, the Correct. result is the result is worry. Correct. I am not uh, worried right now. I am not worried. I am in at rest. So, which means my so, action. So, you are, you, are already, you are already thanking God and you are already moving in faith. Now, for example, when I was in Dubai, hmm. there was this man who tried to commit suicide. He survived, okay? And he was with me. So every time I would come, I told him, you will come and stay with me, okay, mm. for three days that I'm there mm. in Dubai. Mm. For three days, you will stay with me the whole day. Night time, you can go to, go, you can go to your house. Mm. So when he started seeing me mm. during the counseling, that people are getting healed, okay, and he comes from a medical uh, hospital uh, profession. So he's seeing with his own eyes, people are coming with crutches and going back with crutches. He, when he's seeing it over and over again, he started saying, now I understand the biblical uh, approach of faith. Yeah. At that time he was jobless. Okay, For three years he was jobless. So he began to speak <laughs> the promises of God for job. Yeah. Secondly, he started wearing his suit, tie and everything. And sit down in his house, okay, as if he's getting ready to go to work from morning to evening. And he did it for, I think, two, two weeks or three weeks. Uh, okay. Now he is not only speaking, he is believing, and he's already started dressing up as if he's going to the office. Yeah. He got that job and he's now on the top management, doing a fantastic thing because he's saying, Brother, I've not yet stopped operating on faith by using my imagination based on the word of god mm. so so it's so, not it's not only speaking brother yeah, what is very yeah. important is believing believing so believing so believing's biggest uh, believing's definition as you said action corresponding to the message so which yes. is uh, which is uh, your word but as as you rightly said you also have to imagine you also have to behave so I can't be I can't be sitting quietly and uh, you know in a corner and say you know I'm praying. So I you need to go and probably search for and, it. And and one of the and one of the breakthrough mm. that you'll get in your life is when you are in a problem, not when you are in a problem, when you have problem or no problem. The moment you stepped out of your house to solve somebody's problem, mm. your problem starts being taken care of the Lord. Okay, now it's another. A, it's a it's a, it's a it's uh, by default. So another example I want to ask. I wanted to lose weight. Okay. Ah. <laughs> A lot yeah. of people, yeah, because this is where I'm practicing and I'm failing. You know, I'm practicing my faith. Uh, okay. Of speaking. Uh, but I'm not going and doing the exercise. Neither am I taking a corresponding action of controlling my diet and my food. Mm, okay. Mm. So that will not work. Hmm. Okay. So okay. So okay, I got it. So so when a person is speaking now, for example, I'll give you an I'll give you a fantastic example. Okay. Hmm. A person heard a testimony of a man hmm. who is a missionary. Hmm. He gave his old a, you know, a person gave an old car to a machinery as a gift. Hmm. Okay. And the moment he gave he comes back again, he says, somebody came and sold a brand new car in my life. Mm. Now, will that person be excited who received the car? Yeah. So he is going around telling, sharing his testimony left, right, everywhere, that how the Lord has worked up and how Luke 638 is working and all this. Okay. Mm. So somebody is sitting and watching this testimony and he's saying, oh, 
I now understand how to operate in faith. Mm. So I will use what she did. I will do the same. Mm. So he goes and donates his car to somebody else. Mm. Okay. And now he's motivated and he's encouraged that now the car will come any moment. Mm. The car did not come at all. Mm. What was the reason? When your faith is based on the experience of somebody other uh, experience of others, mm. you will be getting deceived because that experience of others is good. Mm. But if it is not backed up with the real written word of God and you do not focus there, both the cases will go out of your head. Yeah. So now when this person gave this car. One, one, one minute, I'll just complete this. Now this person gave this car. Mm. Okay? Because he heard somebody's testimony. Now what is he expecting? They're not expecting Somebody it. to give him a brand new car. Correct? Okay, yeah. Now, is he doing it out of Bible principle? Or is he doing it of greed for that desire to be fulfilled? Greed. So when it is a greed rather than the desire, then comes the problem. See, when I was in Goa, somebody had donated, given me a jeep at the railway station. I'll explain that next time. Okay. And this jeep, we began to use. This was the only vehicle we had. And we began to use for six or seven months. Mm. And one fine day, he went to minister to somebody. And that person was talking about, you know, how he wants to help an orphanage. And they don't have a vehicle. Mm. So he gave the keys and he said, this vehicle is for you. We'll transfer the pay, this thing in your name. Now, that man had given the vehicle to whom? To you. To me. What did this man do? You and he just the... took it and transferred it into a, this person's, uh, this thing, and took my signature. Mm. Now, when the vehicle went, we had only one vehicle. Mm. A Jeep, Armada Jeep. Mm. And he gave it. So I say, asked him, did you do it because you were moved with compassion or did you do it with the motive that, you know, give and it shall be given to you? He yeah. said, no, 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 no. I did it out of compassion. Yeah. I said, then get ready. We'll have plenty of vehicles coming up because what you sow is what you reap. Yeah. But yeah. the condition should be right. Yeah. Then uh, vehicles came. Yeah, plenty came. Not one, plenty. What do you mean? Vehicles came. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. We never had lack after that. Okay. So, so it is because your desire is not greed. Mm. Your desire is to work in the kingdom. Mm. So high expectation, based on wrong information, mm. will surely fail. To produce the desired result. Mm. Roman, high expectation Roman, with Roman. high expectation with people's experience, mm. not your scripture experience. Mm. Okay, people's experience will still bring a failure in your life. It has to be from the word with people's experience. Now, what if what if uh, Angel Gabriel would have given only um, Elizabeth? experience but no promise of god to mother mary could it work no so when the angel gabriel came and spoke to mother mary the word did he quickly change from a thermometer to thermostat no no she was at always a thermostat then why did she ask a question hmm. huh yeah but I don't I see she is a human being here. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has questions. Yes. So she asked a question. Mm. With that asking a question, did she shift from mm. did she shift her, her understanding into a thermostat? Yes. yes. No. Did he give her the promise? Yeah. Yes. Did she keep that promise? Yes. 
did it come to pass yeah. yes so so as a christian how quickly can i use the scripture to make myself into a thermostat mm. and if i don't make myself into a thermostat then even though i'm speaking it won't work because it has to be believed in the heart mm. So a Bible faith mm. in the heart mm. will always produce what the word promises. I repeat again, Bible faith mm. in the heart mm. will always produce what the word promises. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Ram Ramona, you wanted to ask you. Ramona Pinto, you were asking some questions. Yeah, my eyes were closed. Sorry, yeah. And now my eyes have opened. <laughs> Yes, Father, brother, I'm so yeah. happy to attend this classes. Uh, and I remember asking you last time that no, I am I am praying with biblical verses for my children. And you said you pray for the children first that they can develop the relationship with God. You know, and I'm doing that also. And recently my daughter submitted her thesis. And the day when she was submitting, we were doing the proof reading, and I was, you know claiming 5713 and she was hearing it you know and she's in new zealand and i'm in bangalore and i was saying all this a whole day till one o'clock i was reading the bible or i was saying some verses claiming it many a time i just said 5713 on the rosary bead you do it so i was doing all these things and she was saying yes my mama i always i'm i'm also saying the prayers and lord has helped me in doing a beautiful thesis and what happened then i just took a little rest and morning when i got up you know the, what she said is she was started crying so i said why did you cry then she why are you crying then she said no when sending it the alignment of the thesis was went wrong like i don't know how she did it you know from that pdf file and all that and and she was a little nervous and she was crying but now i at the immediately I sent some verses. So I just what as you're saying that don't claim the wrong verses. You know, I sent for her saying that Natasha, just keep faith. And I gave her the proverb 1022, the blessings of the Lord makes me rich, and he had no sorrow with it. I told Say her that again, please. Me. Say that. No, 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 don't stop. Say that yeah. again, please. The blessings that is a powerful scripture. Come on, say it. The blessings of the Lord makes me rich, and he had he and he add no sorrow with it so the, I told the, 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 in the world also you will get riches but there will yes. be sorrow yeah go ahead beautiful words. okay so i just told her natasha keep saying this whenever you are free till you get yourself the result till you get your result and then see how the lord plans is manifested in you your spirit of unbelief is removed and you will receive supernatural manifestation Remember, the spirit of unbelief is the root cause of all the negative thoughts and wrongdoing. So when you claim his living words on you, your heart will believe the unseen and it will start manifesting. And then I gave her Hebrew 13, 6 also to keep saying, saying that the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do for me? So and I told her to imagine what you want after writing what you wanted you wanted a plus a whatever you wanted just imagine and keep claiming have i done the right thing absolutely but now you are not on the hot seat she is on the hot seat okay you you, you supplied the substance to her okay now is she supplying the substance in our own life okay okay and you know you, 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 uh, you have transferred you have transferred rich substance everything on faith now okay. is she full doing that process yes yes she is doing now it. when she's doing that process in no time she'll encounter jesus like never before she's now, so much in peace you know what happened next ah, day you know brother called her what wrong because he's in us and he wanted he's a computer science engineer so he wanted to know where you went wrong that alignment went wrong so then she said no nothing i don't want to think about it i've just left it in the hand of god and she did say anything to him so she says mm. now it's gone it's gone i will see my results she says so i also just kept quiet when my son said the no, same no, thing no 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 sister 
Yeah. You were praying for your children, biblical virtues, right? Yes, yes. What if this situation had not gone wrong? Do you think your wife, daughter would have been praying the way she's praying now? Yes, correct. I'm asking you. No, I think so. No, she would have that. No, self, uh, you know, by self-effort she got it, she would have thought. That now, is what is happening? now what is yeah. happening? Now what is happening? Your prayers have been answered. Yes. That problem is not a problem, actually. Yeah. That problem is for her to change. Okay. Yes. And brother, after that, I just sat down after all this. I sat down and I just opened the Bible and such a beautiful verse I got it, you know, which says Isaiah 48, verse 6 to 7. Okay, I'll just read out. You have heard now, see all this. And will you not Declare it, for this time forward, I make you hear new things, hidden things that you have not known. They are created now, not long ago. Before today, you have never heard of them, so that you could not say, I already knew them or knew that. So beautiful. So I am this. So should I keep claiming this verse when I am oh, are, thanking are, the Lord? You're supposed to. You're supposed to supply the substance by thanking God. Yes, I am thanking. So should I claim this verse also when I'm? Should I wrap it my thanksgiving with this verse? Yes, I yes, yes, yes. See, the more scriptures you wrap up to that uh, hope, the yes. more the supply of the substance, the more your confidence. The more your relationship, everything becomes more. Okay. Thank you so much to teachers. So is this you know helping you with anyway? Very, very much. So much. I can't tell you. So, so much. When I'm just speaking, waiting. My children also do this. So when you're speaking the scriptures, you're speaking yes. the invisible with your thermostat set on visible. So now what you're speaking is supplying the substance and continuously supplying that now that manifestation starts coming so quickly. Yes, nice, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Beautiful example, like uh, Ramona, thank you for sharing. Yeah, Wonderful, I like that word, you. which you said, a proverb uh, 1022, it's a yes. beautiful. I've never, uh, you know, I, I, no, I, I don't remember. You know, I it, also but... came across when the difficulty came. I don't know. That's why how brother said that Holy Spirit will you know, give you the verses. It's so true. It's so true. Mm. I also, even this brother, last brother, verse, I've read so see, many times. See, I didn't get it. See, this... Holy, Holy Spirit, if you understand, he is a person like Jesus yeah. who is dwelling inside of you. He is not yes. some emotion or a feeling. He is yeah. a person. So when you talk to him and say, Lord, uh, now for example, happy family. I said, Lord, you know my class is there. So I am also sleepy and I don't want to say no because this is an opportunity. I don't want to miss it. So please see to it that even if I am closing my eyes, I will be speaking the right thing till I finish my class and people will get something or the other. The time will not go wasted. Yeah. I can't keep my eyes open, brother. So I'm I've closed my eyes. Okay. Yeah. But I can still speak. I also I was also struggling to keep my eyes open. <laughs> so you are also sleepy like me? Yeah, looking at you, I was Wait, don't, don't say looking at me. I was giving a good stuff here. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just uh, you know on the lighter side, I'm making it a little more lighter and wanted to wake you up. It's been excellent. Uh, it's an excellent session, brother. I really love this, uh, you know, sharing of uh, Sister Ramona. Very encouraging. Because yeah, and hmm, so on this context, I wanted to just uh, uh, share something which uh, you said about in the White Book. There is this beautiful prayer for children from page number uh, 80, uh, 78, I think. All but biblical uh, virtues. Number. Yeah. Ah, biblical, uh, 88, 88 to 96. They're all for children. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, all for children. So it will be wonderful for you parents uh, if you can sit together and just uh, bring your whatever and, number and, of and children And let the children have. also pray for their children. Yeah. Uh, no, somebody yeah. So somebody children will married. say, you know, what are you talking? 
again it is faith hmm. yeah. you are making a faith declaration yeah, yeah. right from the child hmm. who is small yeah, yeah. so it was uh, it is a very excellent experience for me that prayer is one of my lifeline prayers because it's absolutely word of god and it covers end to end there is nothing more i think to add uh, to your children's prayer so it is in the page is it, it's in page number 88 uh, uh, to to 96 uh, it is beautiful and all, prayer, all prayers uh, are thermostat of, prayers thermostat prayers so even yes. if you don't see your children doing that you start speaking it and start visualizing hmm. now what you are speaking will yeah. come bring it to pass and you will end up finding your children doing that that yeah. is called as faith yeah that is called as thermostat faith bible faith the yes. fake faith or the corrupted faith is you're opening your mouth and saying what you are want to say and you're still saying i've got faith in god yeah yes and when that happens Correct. the person is all the time full of worry yeah so uh, wonderful, wonderful now, now you, uh, one, 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 more, one more. there is another statement will come mm. if they can do it mm. if they can do the certain thing okay i can do it too have you heard that yeah now when a person is... is speaking this statement okay mm. and that person is is not having the scriptures he is mm. totally on a wrong information yes let me give so an my... example so now uh jos yeah from bangalore how many times you boarded a flight oh so many times so when you are boarding sometimes you get a chance to have a look at the pilot yes especially when you're getting down yeah pilot sometimes comes out and he yes. looks and you look at him and you say he can do it then i can do it as well so go go in the cockpit and start <laughs> yeah yeah can you do it no i can't but but you can have a vision mm. and i want to do it but then will you have to go through the training the whole process yes yes so that what happens is one person is exercising in faith so the other mm. person is saying he's doing i can do as well mm. but that person is not investing his labor or time in studying the scriptures but only imitating will it happen it will not will that not. will be that will be a wrong uh, kind of uh, faith hmm. because the person has not gone through the process of how many years he went through the training yeah absolutely now there will be another one you know if god did a miracle for him god will do a miracle for me mm. but my question is god did a miracle for him mm. but do you know what that particular person knew mm. like abraham was fully persuaded yeah in romans 4 yeah that god who promised him will surely do it for him yeah now, if God did it for Abraham, God will do it for me. Yes. Now, the vision is good. But are you studying like Abraham? Yeah. That's when the, th the person is on a thermostat, but he has not given the time for training. Hmm. And because he doesn't have the scriptures, but on experience, what happens is he starts uh, speaking it but the believing in the heart is absent. Hmm. So will it work? It will not work. All these are very important. Yeah. So the best, best is take the word and begin to uh, meditate on the word of God hmm. and let the Lord do the rest yes you do the speaking god will will do the uh, transforming transforming it from the invisible to the visible yes i hope we enjoyed the class today yes yes absolutely brother because this principle learning this principle 
I've been able to do all these years, mm. all these wonderful things that have happened mm. is the same principle called principle of faith. Yeah. And even every month our bills used to be paid because I used to say, faith pays, pays my bills. Mm. Faith uh, brings the resources needed. Faith does this, faith does that. So you can have multiple, multiple jobs for faith and mm. faith would be enjoying to do the work for you. Mm. Amen. I mean, so we will close the session, brother. You take some rest. No, it's one one hour is over. One and a half hours. One hour. 6.55, 6.51. Praise God. Praise God. God is very, very faithful. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we will close uh, today's session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Thank you, brothers. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful a session that you've given to us for enlightening our mind, for teaching the truth again. Lord, it is imp so important to, for us to understand how faith works, not only for us, also for the people whom we are talking to. Some for the, some of them, it has been tough uh, times, but uh, Lord, uh, we this moment, this truth, what we learned, we uh, we believe this truth, what uh, we learned, will be shared in holy with the Holy Spirit. That whatever we share may be understood by the people who are listening. Lord, you will do it is you who will do the work and bring it to a completion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you, brothers and sisters. See you. Thank tomorrow. you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.